Hey, how's it going? Jason Smith here with Smith Family Farm. I was just uh, out here in the greenhouse working today and I uh, wanted to just post an update. I hadn't posted anything in a while. I'm not the, not the best at making videos and posting things, but uh, I'm pretty excited about what we got going on in this greenhouse and uh, how this is going to carry us through the winter. So uh, just wanted to kind of give you an update on, on what we got going on here and uh, what all we have planted in here and kind of the plan for us. So. Right now we've got uh, we've got a whole mess of greens in here, and they're just different kinds. Uh, we've got red oak leaf lettuce, we've got arugula behind that, and then behind that we've got salad turnips, and that's that's one of these. I just I came in here to pick a couple. Um, I love these things; they're really good. Uh, you can eat them raw, or you can saute them. Just cut them up like a radish, and then you can um, you can just eat them raw. But they taste wonderful. And so I was in here picking some of these today because I'm wanting some for lunch. So. Um, and then we got a row of tomatoes here. I got several tomatoes. They're just cherry tomatoes. Uh, we'll probably keep these until probably like Christmas, and then after that we'll shut off the heat in here, and then we'll uh, we'll just let this other stuff go. Uh, the other stuff will be fine. Obviously, the tomatoes will not live because the days get really short, obviously, and then you know it's just too cold. So, but anyhow, we got tomatoes in here right now. Um, they're not quite ripe yet. They're just they're really small, but they're starting to come on In between the tomato. I got some basil here. Uh, I got some different herbs and then I'm um, just kind of walk down through here So we got we got some beautiful tomato plants in here um, And then over here. I got another plot of arugula. We just started so we had that plot over here. This one's much older this is old old people arugula, I guess and then this is um, this is juvenile arugula, I guess. So um, anyway, uh, so, so that arugula I planted probably, the, the, we're, we're actually cutting this right now, we're eating on it. Uh, and I planted that probably, I don't know, probably five weeks ago is whenever I did it. And this I just planted probably about two weeks ago. So uh, succession planting is definitely a good thing. Uh, and if you, you know, when you, once, you get your, once you get your plan down and you're, you're planting, your succession planting, you can, you can you can stagger it out and you'll have stuff you'll have stuff all season so that's what we do um, and then I got some dill here some dill in between and then I got some more basil in the back there and uh, obviously I got a wheelbarrow here because I'm I'm actually working in here today it's raining it's raining outside so I figured I might as well just go in the greenhouse and work because there's nothing else I could be doing outside so um, and I got more basil we got tons of basil we got a little rabbit so he likes eating basil uh, and then we like eating it too so uh, and then let me just kind of go down through here on this side on the other side here. I've got uh, I've got some French breakfast radishes that we just started um, They're a couple weeks old. They're just not quite ready yet. And then I've got uh, I've got some uh, I've got broccoli and I've got some cabbage on the, in, in here and then over here on this side I have uh, We just planted romaine heads. These are baby romaine heads not baby romaine. They're actually full-size romaine heads and so um, anyway busy we got a lot of stuff going on here and then back over here i've got um i've got salad mix i love salad mix i love eating salads and so i got a couple of rows here just some different different leafy greens different salad mix and then we got another row of uh sal uh, this is a red sales lettuce that i just started a couple weeks or probably about a week ago so it's starting to come up starting to germinate and then back behind it i've got another row of uh or just another plot of these because I love these things now all this stuff grows through the winter believe it or not uh, in this greenhouse it'll grow through the winter here in middle Tennessee in our climate let me set this salad turnip down so I can actually talk to you but uh, all this stuff will grow through winter here uh, it'll it just grows really slow but if you have your crop ready going into winter or going into late fall this is this is what you'll have and, and we will be harvesting this stuff all winter up until early spring and then i've got another plot over here that, I, that we just worked up right here and we're going to plant some stuff in it I'm probably going to wait about another week or so and then plant some stuff in that um, but this will keep us this will keep us through winter uh, we can come out here and eat greens we can eat salad turnips we can eat radishes uh, not so much tomatoes but we'll probably have tomatoes up to christmas and then, uh, like I said, we'll have six, we got succession planting going on, so we'll have we'll have plenty. A lot of these greens they're cut, and then they'll come again. So I can like that arugula back there. 
the, uh, the the older arugula, the older arugula. I mean, I've I've cut it I think two times already, and it's still it could probably use one more cut, and then it will probably pull it up and plant something else there. So, um, but you can grow this stuff all through the winter here in Middle Tennessee, and you don't need a big greenhouse like this. You really don't. All you need is literally a piece of plastic and maybe some little hoops to make a little hoop, and you can you can do this as long as you keep your crops out of the elements and give them a little bit of cover. Uh, they'll grow. Cool season crops will. Tomatoes, that's not gonna happen. Obviously tomatoes are a warm season crop. It's gotta be hot. Tomatoes like heat, peppers like heat. That stuff likes a lot of heat. And so uh, that's why we basically shut, the tomatoes won't be any good uh, come Christmas. So whatever tomatoes we can get up until then, we're, we're very blessed to have. Uh, up until Christmas, we have a wood stove over here. Let me show you this wood stove. And so this is a pretty, pretty, pretty good sized wood stove. It's got blowers on the top. So what happens is once that wood stove gets, gets nice and warm, we'll plug it in and the blowers actually blow the heat out into the greenhouse. And then uh, I got another fan I'm gonna put up in here and it'll just keep air circulating and keep, keep the warm air in here. And the only reason we do that is simply for the tomatoes. And then come Christmas, we'll shut it off and we won't even use that wood stove anymore. So this will just become an unheated greenhouse, but these greens will still grow. We've done this for years and uh, it works. So anyhow, just want to give you an update. We're pretty pretty happy about everything we got going on in here. Everything's looking good. Uh, crops are coming up good. They're growing good. And so, um, yeah, we got kale. I mean, we have kale. We have broccoli. We have a whole variety of stuff. So whatever. What I mean is, there's you know there, there's certain stuff in here that you know Megan and, and my daughter they don't like. They don't like spicy stuff like arugula, but they love kale. Uh, they love broccoli, they love cabbage, uh, they love some of the salad greens, obviously they love tomatoes. And uh, so anyhow, there's something for everybody's palate. Um, just gotta find stuff that you enjoy growing and that you like to eat. And you just figure out how to grow it. It's not that hard to do, especially when it comes to these types of things, greens and stuff. They're a lot less labor intensive than tomatoes. And in the winter, they're even easier to grow because you don't have to deal with the pests and you don't have to deal with the weeds. And so, um, so that's, that's another good thing. But anyhow, uh, you know, just uh, let us know if you're interested in learning about this stuff. Uh, I, teach, I teach stuff out here all the time. We, we'll, we'll hold little sessions out here and let people come and see kind of how we live, what we do. Uh, we also have hens. We got about 40 hens we, we just use for eggs. And then um, and, and we've, we've also got an RV site. So if you've if you got an RV, if you're passing through and you want to come in and visit with us, you can. We've got RV hookup. Uh, electrical hookup we got water and we've got uh, waste station hookup if you need to dump some waste uh, we've got that here too and so uh, just drop us a line go to the website I'll put a link to the website in here uh, if you have any questions uh, we do woodworking too I got a sawmill I got a portable sawmill I can take I can take places and mill wood uh, we can we mill eastern red cedar we mill oak uh, you name it we mill it uh, except for hickory we don't do hickory because it, it'll kill your blade um, so but we got a lot of stuff going on out here. This is our, this is our homestead. It's how we live. And so uh, drop us a line. Let me know if you're interested. Happy to show you how we live and uh, talk to you about it. Come out here and spend some time with us. Thanks so much. Have a great day.